Hi, this is Jennifer from Read It Again. Please join me while I read Yoko Writes Her Name by Rosemary Wells. Please consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed this book, hit the like button and share this video with all your friends. Yoko Writes Her Name by Rosemary Wells. Yoko could write her name perfectly. I am so proud, my little snowflower, said Yoko's mother. The next day at school, Mrs. Jenkins asked Yoko's class to write their names. Look, boys and girls, said Mrs. Jenkins, how beautifully Yoko writes in Japanese. Olive whispered to Sylvia, Yoko can't write. She's only scribbling. She won't graduate from kindergarten, said Sylvia. In the cafeteria, Sylvia and Olive made up a song. Two, four, six, eight. Who's not gonna graduate? That afternoon, Yoko wrote one, two, three on the blackboard. Mrs. Jenkins gave Yoko a silver star. But Olive said to Sylvia, those aren't numbers, they're just baby marks. She definitely won't graduate, said Sylvia. On the playground, Olive and Sylvia played graduation. Everyone graduated, except Yoko. You are going to have to learn to read and write first, Yoko, shouted Olive. He's a mean one, huh? At supper time, Yoko would not eat her favorite sushi. She wanted to go to bed. Something is wrong with my little snowflower, said Yoko's mother. Yoko could hold it in no longer. I'm not going to graduate from kindergarten, said Yoko. But it's only the first week of school, said Yoko's mother. Yoko just looked at the moon outside her window. At school, Mrs. Jenkins asked Yoko to share her favorite book with the class. Yoko's favorite book was The Happy Doll. She turned to the pages and told the story. Olive whispered to Sylvia, Books go left to right, not right to left. Yoko is only pretending to read, said Sylvia. She'll never make it to first grade, said Olivia. After school, Angelo found Yoko hiding. What is the matter, Yoko? Angelo asked. I will never, ever graduate, said Yoko. My reading and writing are no good. But you have a secret language, said Angelo. Will you show me how to write it? Yoko showed Angelo how to write his name in Japanese. Angelo showed Yoko how to write Yoko in A, B, C's. Angelo taught Yoko to write one, two, three. Yoko showed Angelo how to write Japanese numbers. Together, Angelo and Yoko used all the different color crayons in the crayon box. I want to write my name in Japanese, said Valerie. Me too, said Henry and Doris. Us too, shouted the Franks. On parents' night, Yoko's mother brought in a big Japanese alphabet. Japanese will be our class's second language, said Mrs. Jenkins. Japanese writing started to pop up all over the classroom. We shall all learn to write our names in Japanese by graduation time. Only Olive and Sylvia would not try. On graduation day, the whole class wrote their names on their diplomas in two languages. But Olive and Sylvia could not be found. Where are Olive and Sylvia? asked Mrs. Jenkins. Olive and Sylvia panicked and were hiding in the closet. We won't graduate, said Olive. Let's pretend to be sick, said Sylvia. Yoko found them. 
She showed them how to write their names in Japanese. Olive and Sylvia were just in time to join the graduation march. <laughs>